oh my gosh Mansur Gabriel do they have a runway in here oh, even when there's no hope you can still go I never ran said a no man I still go 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 hello my darlings so leaving Aventura Mall <laughs> getting on Biscayne I was like wait a minute there's a Marshalls in Aventura let me get off this road. <laughs> I'm about to throw myself into the lion's den, guys, and go into this um, Marshall's Home Goods. The reason why I say it's the lion's den is because Aventura is a really great area for shopping. Number one, because they get a lot of snowbirds um, and individuals that go back and forth from Quebec and New York um, and other cold parts of the world. And so they have, it's the same as the Nordstrom here, right? And so it's a tourist destination as well because we have Sunny Isles Beach, a lot of condos. Um, so I'm having a feeling that they're going to have the good goods. So, um, listen, we can't be going to all the marshals across the land. <laughs> I'm trying to go across the pod, guys. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's go into this marshals. The things that I do for you guys, I swear, you better be liking, subscribing, and giving me a super thanks for all of these trips I'm doing, throwing myself to the wolves, knowing I'm going to want a perfume or a bag in here. Lord Jesus. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get it over with. <laughs> Marshalls and a home goods. Marshalls and home goods together. Two places I don't need to be. But for the love of y'all, I will do it. All right. So the shoe section is smaller, which, okay, that makes sense. Um, so because it's combined, everything is like halved. So they have like one row of nines. Or two rows of nines. What is this? Let's see. So the shoe selection is most likely going to be the same. Oh, these are nice. 30 bucks. There's no one a loafer. Hold on. This is a nice loafer. Coming over what we saw at Tory Birch, right? This is nice for $29. Hmm. Versus how much? <laughs> 500 dollars this is really nice, and I love the heel. Okay, all right, and they have a few. They have a few. Um, yeah, I just wanna give you a quick glimpse. We saw these this week. I really like this. I don't have anywhere to wear them right now, but oh. Gosh, my right here. <laughs> I like this. I already have the Zara the Zara um, denim shoes but uh, these are nice with a little hangisi Manolo hangisi feel that is nice and then I don't remember seeing this Jessica Simpson these are has padding these are $39.99 okay okay we have some Rachel Zara loafers $34.99 Let's see, what else? I don't like the clunkiness of it. We saw this at the other store. What's this? Some sandals, okay. So we have a lot of flats. A lot of flats. A lot of shoes. Oh, we have clearance. I think the clearance is gonna be the same clearance that we've been seeing. I don't think that it's going to be anything too outstanding. Um, these are nice. How much are these? $28. Kind of like a raffia. Cute. $19. A little heart. A little Sherpa shoe. I don't know who that brand is. It's cute. Little pantalino. Little faux Chanel type of situation going on. These are 19. All right, let's go look at my beloved bag section. Birkenstock 64. All right, let's go look at shoes. No, handbags, not shoes. Yeah, these are nice, but let me tell you something. Nothing can compare to that Burlington, um, Burlington section, that luggage section. So I'm not even, I'm not even pressed to look over here at this point, but they do have luggage at this location. Okay, so they do have some clearance. Do we see any perfumes or anything that uh, 
Sparks are interest. Oh, I see some Shea Moisture. Toner. They have, we saw this at the last place, at the last Marshalls, the men, men am I saying? Uh, let's see. I see some hair stuff over here. You guys know I love my curl control jelly. Hell, oh, oh, they have TJ. It's not on clearance. They have that. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. They have my spray. <laughs> they have this. This is what I use on our hair, Riley and I. Oh, they have another perfume here. This is supposed to be a dupe, like a, a dupe brand, kind of like Dossier. Um, but I've heard some really great things about it. Um, more hair care. Let's see. Oh, but more, more, more um, clothes. Listen, why are we you know, trying to pay for price? You're trying to go across the pond. We saw that. Some perfume, some more perfume, some more perfume. Disney blah, blah, blah. We didn't even look at jewelry because this is a quick stop. We have another one, 79. What is this one? Cherry Vanilla Wood. So does it say what it's a dupe of? No. Degree, Pisces, some more Eau de Parfums. And do we want to look through makeup? No, let's just go look through bags real quick. Oh my gosh, Mansa Gabrielle, do they have a runway in here? This is the runway tag, the purple tag. So they must have a runway here. So they have Mansa Gabrielle. Let's see, they have, listen, I looked for this bag for you guys, the incline. Tote. I'm gonna continue to. Oh, they have it in the all blue. I'm gonna look for you guys because I really like that bag. Kate Spade. This Kate Spade is 120. Do we see anything? I'm just trying to see what their assortment looks like. They have that color in the incline, and this was 40 something, right? Oh, another Master Gabriel. 250. Let's see if they have a runway here. So look through this. Oh. Uh oh. This is 149 or 150. Oh my gosh, I hate that they do this. <laughs> I get why they do it because of theft. But it's not good when you're trying to record a, a video. Okay, so we have a shop. I actually like the shopper tote. Do you see the MKs? Is this supposed to be an MK? Is it? Or am I just making that up? Does this do anything? No, it doesn't. Okay. Them. What is this? We don't like different things. Who is this? Who or what is this? Steve Madden? It doesn't say. This is cute. This is cute. And they have another Michael Kors. All right, quickly. We've seen all of these. We've seen all of these. We've seen, oh, we haven't seen this Aldo bag. Did we see this one? No. We didn't see this one. So it's 35. We didn't see, I'm gonna put this here so that we can get it better. We didn't see this one. And so this is like a coated denim. It's not a true denim denim like this one. It's coated. But if you want that look, why not? We did see this one. We didn't see many of them at the other Marshalls, but here they have one, two, three. And how much was this? This is $35. What was the original price? Does it say? That's $35. So you know the fashion merchandiser in me hates this display, right? <laughs> I'm like, why would you put, I don't know, like these need to be up here. This is just not done correctly. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> If my husband was here, he would tell you, I will merchandise a, a store's rack now. Because I'm like, that doesn't make anybody want to sell. Anybody want to buy. Did we see this? DKNY? This is uh, $49. I believe we saw this already, Steve Matt. All right, let's see what else this, um, this store has. Oh, hold on, what's this? Oh, no, we don't like. Oh, I mean, I'll say we. I don't prefer the floral. That's not for me. All right, so it's a smaller bag section. 
because it's a smaller store. And as you can see, there's furniture right there. All right, let's look around a little bit. Okay, so I don't see runway, but I do see some clearance dresses. Oh, well, hold on. This is a runway tag. Perry Walker. Let's see. Jason Wu, $26. There's a blazer dress. Oh, the zipper's broken. But well, that's nothing. The zipper's an easy, an easy fix. Eliza J. And Klein. Let's see what other brands they have. This is Calvin Klein. So this is South Florida, so we're always going to have the dresses. That's why when people come here, it's like, you could shop before you get here, or you could just get here and shop. Oh, this is nice. This is an actual romper. Okay. You know what? Let's do something different and look through some home goods. Because this is a Marshall's home goods. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. What's this? Giving us James Bond. I get so distracted. I see pretty colors. <laughs> I see pretty colors and I'm like, hold on. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go look at some home goods. Okay. You guys know that I am, we're in a constant state of renovation. And so when I come to places like this, like I just want to do all the things <laughs> and I want to do every room, um, but that's just not possible. So what I would really like to do is get our back patio together. Um, my husband would like some for real, for real plants. Um, but I would love to get our back patio together. These have never been cool to me because I don't like lizards in the first place. So why would I, have, why would I put a lizard on my house? <laughs> it's not for me. Oh, a bed for my baby. A bed for my Mavi. He chew it up, but you know, we can always wish. Um, yeah, I want to do all the house at the same time, but that's not possible. So let's look at stuff that we can put outside. I also need to get some puffies for mommy because you know mommy's diabetic so she has to put her feet up. I want that for Riley's room. Distracted already. How much is this? $80. That's nice. She needs a lamp for when she's reading. She's like her mama. She reads before bed. 55. It's puffy for 55. Let's see. Wow. This is $1,300, guys. How beautiful is that? Um, let's look at photos. Mirrors, photos. All that good stuff. Let's see. Mirrors. You guys, let's see. This mirror is 180 To be fair, let me tell you where you get your mirrors from. The thrift store. At least down here. At least down here. This will be nice. All of my mirrors I've gotten, I've thrifted. I don't know what the price is on that, but look at this. This is 32 bucks. Hmm. That's a good, good price for that. Hold on, 32 bucks. Oh, sugar honey iced tea, hold on. <laughs> Let's see what's behind it. Let's see if there's some fashion focused smaller photos. I'm sorry for what I did. <laughs> That's not me for real. Let's see. Anything else? That's pretty. Okay, so to be fair, I rarely get home goods from home goods. Like furniture, I'll come in and get some inspiration. Um, but our thrift stores here have the best home goods. Specifically, um, Salvation Army. I actually have a thrift guide that I'll share with you guys where I talk about what each store um, does really well. And so for all this stuff, Pyrex and dishes, I just feel like these can be thrifted because um, there's so much at the thrift store. In the Salvation Army, you can get them for half price. So I rarely get these type of home goods anywhere else but the thrift store. Um, which is really um, not sad. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not sad, but there's so, you know, like this type of stuff. 
yeah, you, you know, for two sets, let's see how much is this, for two glasses, this is $9.99. I mean, you can get some real glasses, beautiful glasses for like a dollar each. So yeah, I'm not really pressed to get this stuff, but it's wonderful to come in here and look at it though. But yeah, I haven't bought glasses or dishes at a home goods ever i think <laughs> the frugalist in me is just like mm, i can thrift it there was somebody back there so let's see if we can go a different direction and see oh here we go yeah stuff like stuff like this can be thrifted beautiful though i feel like i've seen these i feel like i've seen these somewhere how much are they each? Four ninety nine each. Yeah. We'll just. How many six? Three four just, Yeah, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. Those can be thrifted. Especially again, if you go to those areas that are like this. You know, there are some. Um, these are pretty. Those beachy areas where we get a lot of tourists and. Um, snowbirds because when they leave for the season a lot of times they will donate um the pieces that they've bought or when they come down they will actually donate you know they'll go through and do a cleaning and i hate to say get rid of stuff but you know they'll get rid of stuff and so yeah 12.99 so this is really nice Very different. oh i'm sorry <laughs> you're welcome this is so something like this that's unique absolutely but something like this we've all we've all seen this at a thrift store beautiful beautiful nonetheless but yeah stuff like this basic glasses like this yeah we're going to get well for that but beautiful to look at you know what i do want for our tables some leather leather placemats i cannot find leather placemats if you guys know where i can find some leather placemats please let me know this be nice for outside but yeah my husband's like dion can we focus on outside so right now renovation is all about the outside and making it comfortable and livable for the summer months when we want to be outside and you know barbecuing and having people over because right now, like, especially with lizards, <laughs> I have a thing about lizards. And yes, we have um, iguanas in South Florida. And so we have to get the, and mosquitoes. We're in the swamp. But yeah, I want comfortable, comfortable pieces that we can have outside. How much is, is this a set? They're making it seem like it's a set. Is it in the set? Hold on. This would be cute. How much is this? $5.99. Two chairs on the table. So that's nice. But y'all know mommy can't get down low like that. So <laughs> that's not going to work. Something like this I want. So I would do the fake one. And again, because I don't like animals. And my husband wants a real one. And for me, lizards live on the real one. So I don't want it. But... <laughs> He apparently feels like that's the best choice. So, just want to take you through some more of the home goods, and then I think we're done. Now that I've talked your ear off, oh, you know what we need to look at? Hold on, because you guys know I'm bougie, and I've been wanting some huge, oversized pillows. These are the ones, the big mammoth pillows, because Jack, Chow, Maverick AR pillows. Every time we bring pillows, like a, we have to, before we go to bed at night, we have to bring them into the room because he chews them up just like he chews up his bed. This is nice, $39.99. Yeah, I like the oversized pillows, but I want them. I don't even know what color I want. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine my pit bull in this? <laughs> and you know I'm the one to do it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't even know what color I want. I, I feel like I'll know when I see it. And I've been searching for a couple months now and I haven't seen ones that I really, really like. So I'm just gonna continue to search. Okay, so 
here are the puffies, puffy section. Um, as I mentioned before, mommy is diabetic. And so as she sits, she has to elevate her legs. And I'm like, just because you gotta elevate your legs, I mean, it's gotta be ugly. So I'm <laughs> looking for my theme in my, um, in my living room is black, white, and gray. I don't know what this is. Is this a headboard? This is nice. Um, but I don't necessarily want black and white. This may work. Green is an accent color. And another thing, my pit bull, my pit bull mix, my baby, likes to chew on stuff. So we've gotten stuff like this, but he's chewed, he just gnaws on it and then the filling comes out. So it should really be something like this that goes with black and white. Oh, this is nice. What is that? Oh, I think it may be the top. Oh, it's the top. Oh. oh, no. So yeah, figuring out something that, yeah, this, he would chew, he would start chewing on this and then it'd be ruined. Um, yeah, this is not well made at all. Like it's well made, it's just not well made for us. This is really for like a vacation home type situation. Oh yeah, he would chew right through that. Pretty though, can't find the price. Oops, sorry guys. But yeah. This is nice. Okay, so yeah, black, white, and gray. If you see something in one of your home goods, snap a shot and send me a picture and be like, hey, I found this. I think that um, it would look good with black, white, and gray. I haven't been able to find anything. So we have, we already have a puffy, but we need another one that isn't so mangled because that one's a little, little mangled. Ooh, this is another area. I like to switch out my bathroom. I really need to leave it alone. My bathroom is black and white. Ooh, that's nice. But I have so many of these. Again, I thrift all of this stuff. Yeah, all of this stuff I thrift. There's no need, at least for me, to spend full price. How much is this stuff? Eight dollars. Yeah, you can get stuff like this at Goodwill. The Salvation Army, really, for like a dollar. So I have a lot of those. Again, we live in Florida, so we're gonna see this type of color scheme, beachy, corally theme here. These are pretty, very pretty. But again, this is something that personally I would thrift. Okay, my darlings. So what did you guys think of that Marshall's Home Goods? Um, for me, it wasn't the best. Um, I think, well, not I think, because they put the Marshalls and the home goods together, you were just getting like a piece of each. And I think it's just better when the Marshalls is the Marshalls and the home goods is the home goods. Again, this was the first time the, the, the Marshalls that we went to um, at Sawgrass, that is the first time I've been to Marshalls in a very long time. I'm a Maxinista all the way. Um, so I could have just been spoiled. Um, the second thing is, the Marshalls that we went to was Sawgrass Mills, right? And so South Florida is the shopping hub for Central South America, Central and South America um, and the Caribbean. And so Sawgrass is a huge shopping destination for that population of people. And it's a tourist spot, right? We have the colonnades and everything else. So um, where you can get, you know, Gucci outlet and all the outlets, all the good stuff. So I'm spoiled by Sawgrass. And so I don't know if this was a good reflection of what most Marshalls, um, stores are anyway um it wasn't the best for me it's reflective of the population again this is a place um aventura is where a lot of snowbirds are and so i feel like if you're a snowbird and you're redecorating your second home um if you're a tourist and you're here for just some beachy wear some beachy clothes to wear on vacation then this is a spot this is a good a good quick spot but for the shopper in me i need sawgrass mills marshalls that's what that's what i need every time i go to a marshall so um let me know in the description box if you guys have a mar not description box let me know in the comment section um if you have some that are together um i've never seen it together and so yeah it wasn't the best for me um but again i'm spoiled by sawgrass mills anyway let me get on the road gotta go get my baby girl and i will see you very very soon Mwah. bye go, go.